If I were to ask you, what is the purpose of the police, what would you say? Would you say the police are here to protect and serve the people? But who are they really protecting and serving? In May 2011, the New Hampshire Attorney General cleared four off-duty officers of beating a man, Chris, outside of a bar, the Strange Brew, in an incident in 2010, stating it wasn't the Manchester's police's finest hour, but there were no charges to be filed. In June of 2011, Pete, myself, and Bo were in Manchester while doing Liberty on Tour, the Free State Friendship Edition. While there, we decided, with other local activists, to hold a weekend of demonstrations against the Manchester police activities. We cop block police on Friday night, conducting counter patrols of their stops on motorists and other calls, something that was highly applauded by community members but frowned upon by the police. The following day, Saturday, we, pr we protested at the police station. We held banners, signs, and passed out education material to those passing by. At one point, folks, including myself, started to chalk the sidewalk and police station building. It was at this time I was arrested for criminal mischief, graffiti, and two counts of resisting arrest. For those unfamiliar, here's the video of my arrest. Do you have any ID, sir? Do you have any ID? Do you have any ID with you? You don't have any ID? Don't go away, sir. That's a lawful order. Okay, under arrest. Come on. Name is under arrest. Let's go. Are you hurt? Who did he hurt? Where's the victim, guys? Okay. Um, yes. Where's the victim? Ask for ID from him. He was writing on her. Where's the oh, victim, where guys? Where are we going? You're 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 Real mature, guys. D L A N G T O N. Where's the victim? After spending about two days in jail, I was released on bail, one thousand dollars, personal recognizance because my money or body would be seized at the first sign of non-compliance with this system. After a few hearings, I had a trial. My attempts during that trial were to argue freedom of speech and that I had a right to peacefully assemble and protest the acts of the government. I also focused on the fact that chalk doesn't damage any property, as two of my charges stated damage in their criteria. Yet, at my trial, I wasn't allowed to use the word damage while questioning witnesses, and instead had to ask if I caused any harm to the building. Regardless of the fact that I was protesting government abuses in a peaceful manner and on public property, or that no officer or person present made any claim that I had harmed them, I was found guilty of criminal mischief, graffiti, and both counts of resisting arrest. Next week, January 9th at 10.30 a.m., I face sentencing for the alleged crimes against the community of Manchester, New Hampshire. I face anywhere from 2,000 plus in fines to a little over two years in jail, or a mix of both. At the most, my resisting, aka going limp, was the only inconvenience to anyone during my arrest. I guess making officers work harder to get you into jail without any threat or harm to them is criminal. I'd like to drive home the point that I never physically harmed anybody. I didn't, despite the claims, damage anyone's property either. And even if I had, I still haven't been asked to repair or replace that property, which is common of someone who has had properties damaged by another. Instead, I'll most likely be sent to jail where the community of Manchester will be on the hook for my expenses while in custody. Which brings me back to my original question. If the police and justice system are here to protect and serve you, was I any threat to you? Did I cause anyone any harm? Did I damage your property? Did I damage anyone's property? Then why do they seek to cage me? Valley Street isn't a facility that is meant to house people who are no threat to others or who have not damaged or harmed anyone else's property. Even the county district attorney, Michael Valentine, believes I'm no threat to the community as he stated at my recent arraignment. Charges, I don't think he's a flight risk or otherwise a danger to the community. And so charges, I don't think he's a flight risk or otherwise a danger to the community. And so with that, I leave you to think about the facts in this video and let you, and want you to know that more details are coming pending the outcome of my January 9th hearing. As always, I'm a demo with coplock.org. And remember, badges don't grant extra rights. Peace. Escape to Keene in the Shire and join other cop lockers. Freekeen.com. People, you know why we're here? Because some of your colleagues have victimized other people in this community, and we want to come here and let you guys know that, that we're not happy about that. And then what do you do? You turn around and cage peaceful people? Question the people who claim to be protecting you. Question the people who claim to be protecting you. Claim to be protecting you.